Meanwhile, in Niagara Falls, City Council has approved an application to build what's being described as the tallest residential condo building in the country. And as Jason Guidola tells us, while many people living in the area agree more housing is needed, they believe a project like this one is simply not the right fit. Well, I mean, like, I won't be able to see a nice attraction that I have right here, and it'll take out the sun, and it'll just be unnecessary to me. Mike Gilchrist says he isn't too thrilled about his view of the Niagara Falls skyline being replaced by what's being dubbed as Canada's tallest condominium right in front of his home. Now they're just putting up all these these new things now, you know what I mean? Like, it's getting out of hand, I think. Residents near the corner of Allendale Avenue and Robinson Street are concerned following City Council's approval amending its official plan and zoning bylaw last night, permitting the 77-story residential building to replace these modest properties and join the tourist district. If it's going to work for the neighborhood, that's fine, but most of the people that will probably live in that condo, it'll probably won't be our residents, it'll probably be Toronto people. Where are the, these people going to assess those, these resources and employment, right? If they have kids, where are the kids going to go to school? Do we have enough schools over here? Projected to stand nearly 30 stories taller than the Skylon Tower. The proposed development is slated to have 962 living units with hundreds of square footage for potential commercial space. Based on my client's research, at 77 stories, this will be the tallest residential condo building in Canada. Not commercial building, not mixed use hotel condo, but purely residential condo building. Representing the developer, Rocky Vaca, says investors want an iconic landmark and the proposal is within the tourist district. Please keep in mind that council did previously approve a 72 story in height building at Stanley Avenue and Dunn Street on the west side of Stanley Avenue. Niagara Falls City staff was recommending not to support the condo development. On top of the obvious height concerns, they also had concerns about the shadow it would cast over the neighborhood, wind conditions and parking. Concerns over 713 parking spaces and the condominium exceeding the area's maximum limit of 30 stories. The developer's representatives say the building can be designed to handle wind concerns and their client has the right to lease nearby land for additional parking. Is there any means that you guys can make part of this some kind of attainable housing? For, so people, the average person, can afford something like this. Council approved the application with conditions, including geared to income housing of $80,000 per year and green lead infrastructure. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.